plays in the past game. If you go back and look at our drives the past few years, it's a 10, 12, 14 play drive, and eight of them are runs. Now we run, we get a pass, then it's a 40 yard or a 50 yard pass, and then you go back to the sidelines and, hey, I wonder how that run was. I don't know, we haven't got to it. So that's part of what you said. That pounding, those are what we call gut shots. And then in the fourth quarter, it makes it much easier. Now we're looking down plays in the pass game, but it's not as consistent, and then the field for it. So yeah, you're right, it's a good point. Do the players have to be a little less aggressive with the line on those RPOs to make sure they don't end up? You know, you saw Isaiah take that ball field in the way. He's not going to three take eight, eight yards downfield. You watch the tape. He's called because Dwayne pumped it and threw it down a little bit field. So, yeah, some of those, it's a, they're a little bit nervous about being called downfield. He was upset about the ball. I mean, kids are jumping out three yards downfield. They're trying to do the top. Great job. It's called an RPO. That's part of what it is. Greg, we hear a lot of defensive coaches say how much they hate RPO. Do offensive line coaches hate RPO? Can't say hey, not hate, but like, <laughs> I can't say it makes that. your life tougher. It's hard. Is it before it was hard? Because they know JT roll off, like you said, roll off the ball. We want them to roll off the ball. But in this RPO world, it's a different deal. How different is it in the RPO world with the Lions versus the JT? I think it's a little bit different because you see what the Lions doing. He's throwing the ball. JT was going to run it with hand him or run it himself. So now they were concerned about JT pulling this one out. The Lions got to run for it. He's a threat to throw it, so it's much different for us than things the looks that we're seeing and how they're trying to stop the pass game with certain blitzes. It opens up more RPOs than it had before. This seems like a lot of teams are stacking their boxes, but you guys are third in the country in passing offense, so you think like teams are going to be back, but it seems like they're actually stacking the boxes. Is that accurate? At times. Yeah. There's times that, there's times that it's not stacked, but it goes back to what you said. They want to stop Mike and, and JK from gutting them and getting them worn out, so they'll say, hey, you know what, maybe they're off in the game and some of those things, but we have to do a great job when it's not stopped in the boxes in our favor to run the football. Greg, what were you seeing out of Isaiah? Well, he was. He had a great first half, and then the second half, you know, once he, he's trying to be too perfect in that game. And once he made the penalty, once he had the side, once, then he got frustrated and lost his cool. And that's what I said, you know, at the end of the third quarter, he said, okay, you have to come down and gain your composure back. You know what I'm saying? And then he did. And you look at the floor line right? plays in that last drive and put the game away. He was destroying people. But yeah, he lost his composure. That's one of the things that we have to work on with him is you've got to keep your cool and just stay consistent. You know, it's like anything else. If a bad play happens, you have to let it go. You have to go to the next play. When we get between the series, we'll get it fixed. We won't we need to let that go. I know when you talked about him earlier in his career, he talked about that kind of stuff. Same thing. Do you feel like he got it fixed toward the end of that game or is it a lingering thing you're really concerned about? Well, I'm, I'm always concerned about it. I'm going to keep talking to him about it. I'm going to keep preaching it. But the fact that what, what I was happy about was he gained it back in the fourth quarter and he played a better fourth quarter like he had in the first half. But yes, it's a constant thing, not only with him because, like you said, in 16, he lost it a couple times. So, but last year, he never did. There was not one episode where he did. So you think you're over it, and then all of a sudden it pops back up. But I'm like that with all the guys. I don't want any of them to get flustered about a play and then lose their composure. Like that.